Good morning. Hello, dear friends. Happy New Year. I think it's better I do not cover the light. Happy New Year. And this is the first day of year 2015. It opens up the New Year. The New Year starts in such a beautiful and elegant way. And uh, <coughs> I have received a lot of friends' comments asking for a tea video. I usually do not find the reason of a tea video, but, uh, but if friends like it, it deserves to do it, right? So this tea is, can you see it? Let me cover the light a little bit. Maybe this way you can see better. I cannot see better. Anyway. <coughs> so this tea is a fruit tea, fruit infusion. Let me try to <coughs> make it quick so that uh, oh, there is a tree branch. A branch. We do not want to have that. Beautiful tea. It will be a beautiful tea. Have some more. I think that is sufficient amount of tea. <clears throat> so let it sit for a few minutes and then and um, <clears throat> and then we will drink it and uh, I just want to want to share with you some of my thoughts and um, <clears throat> I think I have seen two different videos and I have seen a lot of your comments after my Happy New Year video, I did an outfit of the day and uh, saying Happy New Year, that was yesterday, the last day of uh, 2014. And I have received so many encouraging um, people's comments, friends' comments, and it's really heartwarming and encouraging. And. Um, a lot of uh, friends echoes to the thought and to the word words of um, perfect imperfection. I think we are a lot of us are not perfect, and um, we may be good at one point but not so good at other points, other fronts. And um, it's not a reason for us to be encouraged, uh, to be discouraged. Uh, nobody can be perfect in every front. For example, I recently have seen a very, very famous and successful female uh, entrepreneur and uh, she is a head of uh, one of the biggest company in the world. Whenever we search online, we use this company and, uh, and uh, sometimes I have listened to her way of talking and found it quite strange and uh, search her name and uh, found some quite interesting stories about her and it also makes me to think to search about um, people who has special 
ability or special achievements. And um, people who really success in in their career or in other things may not be so successful in in other field, for example, in life, in contacting with people. I do not say that people not successful in life means they do not have a good family. Maybe they have a good family. They they just, uh, some parts, they are missing something. And uh, it reflects on ourselves. And uh, we may be missing something on one particular part. And uh, I myself, I know I miss something in the social ability. And uh, let me continue with my train of thoughts, because um, <clears throat> and some people are very good uh, at um, at talking, at communicating, at telling story. I am very, very, very not good at it. And when I go to party, often time I just uh, stay quiet and not talking because. I do not think I have any fun topic to bring up and uh, my way of talking is not quick enough. I cannot catch up the words and um, and uh, in the party or in the social um, um, social in, in, in those times you need to be quick and quickly come out a word, come out a thought. I may quickly come out a word, but uh, I may not be quick to come out the words to go with it. Or maybe I quickly come out the words and the thoughts, and, and the words and the thoughts, the right reply, but I may not come out the right socially acceptable words of saying it. A lot of time I come out with words quite uh, silly or stupid or not so good words. Anyway. Uh -oh. There is some imperfection of this teapot. Uh -oh. Ah, yeah. It stucks. Can you see it? Uh oh. Got stuck. Anyway, it's not important. I can wash it out. The wind, rain can wash it out. My paper napkin can wash it out. Ooh, it's a little bit dirty. Anyway, it will be washed. So. If things do not happen to be just right, perfect as what you thought, what you think, it's okay, deal with it. Yeah. And it's a beautiful cup of tea at the end. And this is what you are going to enjoy. Let me have another paper.
we are not perfect and um, it's okay that we are not perfect some people are good at these we are not good at these but we may be good at other things even we are not so good at other things as long as we can find something that give us the sense of accomplishment sense of happiness that's good enough uh, do not compete with others do not compare with others if we compare with others, we end up just uh, dis disappointing, despair, despair, and just uh, lose hope and happiness of life. If uh, I compare with other people's house, we have such a small house, but if I compare with people who does not have house, it's uh, at least we have a shelter, we have roof on top of our head, and um, if we compare with the social ability of others, we will be disastrous in that sense. But uh, if, you, if we concentrate on something that we can do, then it makes us feel so much better. If we compare with a graphic artist, our painting is nothing, it's just rubbish. But if we compare, with ourselves from yesterday, we are making progress, right? So compare something that is comparable. Compare something with yourself. Compare with something of something that you are improving. You are making it better and better. And make sure you, you feel that accomplishment, achievement, and that's what you want to compare, right? Another thing about compare, so this time we went to ski and uh, our family had an accident and uh, so we had to go to hospital in, the, in Christmas day. Christmas Eve, we ate something really funny because one <laughs> One person was lying on bed, and uh, we ate something. We had something decent, but uh, and then we, the kids, end up eat something, and we eat something as of instant noodle actually. And it may be quite shame to eat this, but actually, it turns out to be very easy to digest and light. And we have given our stomach a very good, uh, a very good uh, holiday gift, because usually when you end up the, um, the holiday, like yesterday, we had a big party with good food and uh, and everything, and good wine, and you end up that uh, your stomach does not feel that comfortable, right? But if you have a very mild and only a teeny tiny bit of good things, you appreciate more, you like it more, you enjoy more. So it's actually the very simple and small and limited amount of food we had on Christmas Eve made us a much more comfortable stomach and much more joyful stomach. And um, everything is the same. Do not uh, overdo things. And, and the best way you enjoy something is to have less of it, right? The best way to have a good food is to eat less than, than what you need. And, uh, and uh, the best way to enjoy a cup of tea is to have less of these tea videos, right? <laughs> so that we can appreciate and, uh, and cherish more of this opportunity of having this tea. <laughs> so, so often time is less is better. So coming back to our comparison things. So we went to the hospital and uh, and uh, it was the same hospital we went five years ago 
five years ago, we ski at Lake Tahoe, and uh, I broke my hips, and it's a bone broken, but it's a small broken, and um, at that time we went to the same hospital. We went to the hospital, and the hospital, the nurse was really a good, good-looking young man. Um, not talking about that, I just. Uh, um, service industry and uh, and uh, and uh, medical career these are I always respect anyway um, uh, so uh, at that time I was uh, I was five years ago I was very uh, scared gosh I broke my hip the day before Chinese the before New Year I and uh, and uh, it was I think it was New Year's Eve. Um, I broke it. I went to the hospital, and this time it's the same thing. Christmas Eve, we went to hospital. We went to the um, the emergency. Uh, Christmas Day, we went to the emergency, and uh, this time the same room. The room used to be accommodated me is the u- room that accommodate the person who got injured today in my uh, this time in my family and we got the same nurse taking care of us it was like a dream repeating so funny and um, we waited there and then we saw other people came in and uh, it kind of uh, um, it kind of making us feeling less bad by ourselves. We were feeling so bad. Oh gosh, we were the most unlucky people at Christmas Eve. And then there were other people coming in with <laughs> with different kind of injuries, and we felt that sense of empathy and felt this sense of okay, that's not the end of the world. We were unlucky. There were also other unlucky things. We may be unlucky in these things, but there are other people unlucky in other things. We may be unlucky in this particular time, but there are things that happens all the time. So just uh, think out of it. Think higher. Think differently. And uh, because this is family thing, I cannot talk it too deep. I do not want to talk it too deep. Anyway, I will just uh, stop here. And um, that's not the end of the world. If heaven does not want to kill you, you will always find a way to survive, to live on. And. Uh, if you do not die, there is always hope. If today is not the last day, tomorrow there will be a new day. And I still remember that day when I went to a Starbucks outside the gate. There was one, I felt like homeless guy. I, I did not know if he had home or not. But anyway, he was asking for money in front of the the. Uh, Starbucks and uh, I went in and I did not have money on my hand uh, anyway maybe I had just do not want to went through my messy purse to 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 search for it and uh, I look at him and uh, I felt sorry and uh, he said okay on your way back it was a very very uh, relaxing way of saying it is very comforting I felt he was comforting me because uh, I didn't uh, accomplish what I want to accomplish and uh, so on my way back I found the change and uh, I gave him and I said this is all I have and Happy Thanksgiving. I think that was a Thanksgiving before Thanksgiving. Anyway, I say, you have a happy day. And I said, how was your day? How is your day? And he said, every day is a wonderful day. When I wake up, 
just the things happen in the day. The stuff happen in the day, not so wonderful. And uh, forget about the second part of the world. Every day is a wonderful day when I wake up. Remember this word. There is always chance. There is always a new day. It all depends on you how to make your day. Excuse me for the airplane noise. Wonderful. Shh, shh, shh. I do not want too many birds coming here to eat our foods. It's good to have birds, but when you have uh, when you have uh, fruits in your backyard, you do not want them to eat. You made the labor they didn't make. So every day is a wonderful day when I wake up. Make sure you always remember, no matter what situation you are in, you are in the situation of having to go to beg for money in the street, but you still have hope. There are still people who hold that hope every day. Wake up every day with good hope, with good spirit. Beautiful tea. I bought a new lipstick I want to share with you. This is a green color, but if you put on your hand with body in the temperature, it changed color. Can you see? It starts to be darker and darker and darker and darker. And the good thing is you cannot wash it out. And okay, I put another one here. So after some time, it shows up the color. See, the color is becoming darker and darker. This one will be darker. Let's see, if I want to clean it out, it does not go away. It's very hard to go away. So this is almost permanent staying on your lips. I like it. It looks strange. I was thinking, I hate, I do not like those lipsticks with different color. The green lip or our lip is supposed to be red and you have to make it red. No matter dark red or light red or something, just the, the red color. I do not like those natural color that has no color. It looks like, uh, like no blood. It just uh, do not look good. You have to have some, some color on your lips. And I did not like this at the beginning. And they have some sample to try. So I tried it and it's green and it's come out color. And it makes me so happy. And uh, I will go out with this and put on green lipstick and in some time it becomes my color like it. Aha, uh -huh, time to add some more tea. Let me see if I can pour this nicely. Well, not so bad. Mm. This is the perfect imperfection. Okay, totally stuck. Anyway, I will go to other place to pour tea. I will not lose my face in front of it. See, it almost does not clean it. Happy every day and uh, happy in the new year in 2000. Uh, 15, I wish you a very happy, successful, prosperous, just a good year, just a good year. I wish the same for you and for me and for everybody. It's good to be good. It's good to be good. Yeah. It's good that this world is a good place. Not f no fighting, no trouble, no problem. It's always good to be, to be good. Yeah. 
We as normal people, we benefit from being good. There are people benefit from problem. They need to have problem to to make a living. There are many careers. There are many careers and uh, jobs and professions. They make a living out of trouble. They make uh, because there is trouble, so they make a happy life. They make a good, decent life. We are not that. We are lucky. We just uh, we just uh, like to be good, and when it is good, it is good. Yeah. Do I make sense? Happy every day. Come to see this beautiful day. Blue sky, green tree, sunshine. This is the sun. Okay, come back to our green leaf. Happy every day, be silly every day. Make sure you enjoy your life. The very last flower. Do, 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 do. every day and uh, be silly every day happy new year let me find a good I think the good looking ones are all in our stomach already or the outside ones too much sunshine this one Happy every day.